We got really close today, um, and I would say the team did a phenomenal job, the joint NASA, Boeing, United Launch Alliance team working through the countdown today. Um, you know, the day started off a uh, busy day for NASA at the International Space Station. Uh, we had a progress talking, 88 progress this morning at uh, 6.43 a.m. Eastern time, so uh, the progress docked uh, nominally and the station's doing well. Right before uh, we, we got into the final phase of the count, um, went off of um, ground power onto spacecraft power. We saw a little bit of a swap in the cabin fan, a little voltage sag. Um, the ground team did a great job of troubleshooting that. We verified both fans were good, and we uh, got those in a good config for launch. And then, of course, we got inside four minutes, and then we had a problem with the ground launch sequencer, and I know Tori will talk more about that. Um, I know it's a little disappointing. We were all excited. Uh, Butch and Sonny were excited to go fly. Um, this is kind of the way space flight is. On the uh, on the, the cabin on the on the, the suit fans, uh, as we went from ground power to spacecraft power, a slight increase in voltage. Uh, the, we have a, a, a fault detection system that picked that up. It did what it was supposed to do, and it turned the fans off. Our team reacted just like they're supposed to very quickly, and they cycled them back on again. So that worked just as a, as we would like it to. Uh, for tomorrow, or whenever we try our next uh, our next launch attempt, uh, we'll have that figured out, and we'll we'll either uh, let the same thing happen and see if there's a, the same voltage, or uh, we'll we'll just go in and turn them off and turn them back on again. So the team's working that, and and we're fine for the next attempt. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app, or follow us on social media.